Alright guys, since my welder is up and running, I can start working on this mower again. So, what I'm going to do first is design and make the clutch. So, basically what I got here are 5 8 bolts on a flat pulley and a V-belt pulley. These fit right inside perfectly, like that. And they're going to sit on this plate so and then you're gonna have a either this bar or another bar come off like that yep. sorry I got all these motor parts sitting around so I got these old mower parts off the actual tractor not off the deck so it's gonna look like that sorta and that'll be welded in the middle like that and that I have 5 8 bolts that go right on top and they are locked so I don't need any type of wash or anything and they meet up with that flat surface right there so I'm going to weld the bolts bolts to this plate here and that to there this is going to be on the frame of the tractor this is uh, some thick stuff and then I'll be placed right there and a bolt will go right through that so that's basically the general idea and then off of that to move this back and forth I'll have like another piece of metal come off here with the linkage that goes to the foot pedals on the tractor so that's the general idea I'm gonna start grinding and then weld that all up so uh, this is stainless if you uh, guys are wondering this is some really tough stuff it looks like 3 8 or something so yeah, you can go ahead and do that. I'm really happy the water's working, so cool. Okay, so get the welder out and uh, stepping on stuff apparently, but here's my drive pulley, the stock one. I just cut the bottom mower deck one off. It's all smooth, just cut it. And underneath, there's underneath here there's a uh, in and underneath here is a uh, a piece of metal I took that was right here and I cut it and I moved it up there's a hole that goes through the deck already and then I just and then there's a hole in this plate that I moved and I moved it up an inch and then this is my mock-up bolt I'm gonna use for the clutch well, the clutch doesn't seem to be here right now <laughs> but um the clutch mounts up to here so that's just what I did here I'll go over and show you the clutch now so here's a clutch I have 5 8 bolts welded to that piece of metal that piece of metal welded and I have 5 8 nuts that are lock nuts so I don't have to worry about washers or anything so you have your clutch pulley and the other clutch pulley Spin that one on, kind of get the idea. But I just put that one on so it doesn't fall off. But that's how it is. It sits on the bottom there, machine surface there. Doesn't touch. That one doesn't touch. Barely, but it doesn't. Those nuts go down, go in that little metal part right there. Lock on. So, and it's all gonna sit upside down like that off the side bracket. Here's the top of the bracket. They used to be for the old double pulley clutch system. That's where it used to mount, right there. So, yeah, that's the clutch system. And I'll get a little blurry. Get that all together, throw it back under. Um, I have some rope right here. I'm gonna make a belt. Uh, so I got the drive, got the clutch, put the clutch on, put the drive pulley on, like make a belt, like tighten it all down. And what I'm worried about is it intersecting this shifting post right here. So, um, got a little light in here, but the shifting post. The drive pulley is smaller now, 
so it's like right in a line of fire so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'll find out when the clutch is in place well um, I'm underneath it now and oh, sorry I'll start her wire but there's the clutch it's all bolted together and it's all bolted up in there it's got all the braces and stuff there's where the belt would go. Goes to the rear pulley. It misses that. It's not touching, but it misses it. And um, it doesn't really matter if it rubs on a uh, rubs on that anyways when it's decompressed. And I'll have a uh, a, a lever that comes out here, that's somewhere on my finger. It comes out there, and then I got this is your whole. Uh, sorry, back up a second. Pedal mechanism. You push your foot and it goes down. So I'm gonna weld. I cut some of these tabs off here. I'm gonna re-weld where I need them. And then I have some linkage that I want to show you. Um, and how I'm gonna put it all together. Okay, so in a sense, this is supposed to be how it's gonna be like. I have this adjustable end, which is gonna be on that lever that I said that was there. Um, that I cut off. That uh, your foot control, so that's going to be adjustable. And then here, I'm going to cut it about right there. And then this, I'm going to cut it here. So I weld this section to this section. And this is going on the clutch. Think of that clutch plate with the two pulleys here and here. The clutch plate is going to be right there. This is going to connect there. There's a little cotter pin that can go right there. So I weld these two pieces together. It's going to be adjustable. I got to weld that tab on there. I got this here, I gotta measure out where that is, cut it. Um uh, probably put a washer in there and a washer there, and then I got some cotter pin sitting over there. Uh, it's an oil pan. <laughs> I don't know, it's kinda random parts everywhere, so but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do.